thanks for coming back. It's Matt here again with MyWebBro.com and today I want to show you seven tools that I use that are free on the internet. I use them pretty often, um, often enough that if I couldn't find these tools available online for free, I'd end up having to buy a solution um, to take their place. So let's jump right in. There being seven of them, I'm going to try to go really quick and keep this video as close to five minutes as possible. I always struggle with that. so. The first tool here is called Palette Generator. Uh, this is really cool. You go to palettegenerator.com. Um, you upload a bunch of files, and I'll do that here for you. And watch, when I upload these photographs, these images, what happens is it's going to give me a palette, a color palette based on these images. And let's see what it gives me. Okay. So it's analyzed these five images. It's given me this really cool color palette based on the k-means algorithm. So that means something to some graphic designer out there. It doesn't mean much to me, but I love this tool when I'm just struggling to come up with a color scheme for a website. When I don't have a boutique graphic designer on staff, I'll go ahead and I'll jump in here. I'll do four or five of these. I'll send them to the client and they'll pick a color scheme that they like. So simple enough. Down for everyone or just me.com. Uh, the short URL is isup.me, and this is a great website when you're just trying to figure out if a website is down or not. So it could be a network, it could be intranet, it could be um, a website that you work, uh, a client that you work for. You just want to see if their website's down. So we go and we just type in the website, and it tells us it's just me because daswow.com is up. So if I'm having a problem with that website, it's just me. You know, so let's let's see what happens when I go ahead and I give it like a bogus website. Let's just go like, hope this isn't a website, you guys, because that would be embarrassing. <laughs> but let's go ahead and, you know, so it's not just me. That website is down. Um, it's just not a website. So this is a great tool to use if you need to figure out if a website's really down or not. Um, so it's uh, isup.me, okay? Uh, let's check out the next one. It's called Jotty. Jotty or Jody, I have no idea, but I, I've been using Jotty for a long time. And what what it is, is if you're ever out and you're on a Wi-Fi, like a coffee shop Wi-Fi, and you exchange files with someone or you open up an email and you just want to do a quick virus scan on, the, on that file, you just go right here, you browse, pull up the file, open it, and it's going to tell you that all these different software packages are scanning it, and it's found nothing, found nothing, right? So that was a clean file. So it's just a real quick, easy way to just double check a file before you download it. Like a PDF especially. PDFs can be corrupt, so you always want to scan your PDFs, okay? Uh, the next one here is called timeanddate.com. Timeanddate.com is really cool because you can see the real actual um, sec uh, millisecond to millisecond time anywhere in the world. But <clears throat> what I use it for actually is right here, the stopwatch and the timer alarm. So I get started on a project for a client. I want to make sure I don't go over a certain amount of time where I have to keep track of the time. I'll go right in here. I'll click on the stopwatch feature. <clears throat> and then uh, I'm just sitting here right here on a very, very simple, intuitive stopwatch. So I can get back to work over here. You know, I can upload my files, do my thing, and I've got the stopwatch running right here. So in fact, let's keep it running right now while we're, while we're playing. Why not? The next one I want to show you, oh, so that's timeanddate.com. Okay, great, a great website for, for that. Oh, and also for the um, for the online um, timer and also for their alarms. You can set web alarms while you're sitting at your desk, so they're, they're great. Zamzar, this is, um, this is a website I've been going to for years because before it was really easy to convert files from, you know, JPEG to PNG or from... Um, oh, I can't remember all the things you used to have to do that you almost don't even really do that much anymore. But right here, they made it so easy for us. You choose a file. Let's go ahead and choose a file. This might even be too big a file. Okay, so I choose the file. I want to convert it from JPEG to uh, GIF, let's say. I enter in my email address. And I hit the convert button. Okay, and that thing is going to be sitting right in my Yahoo account. I don't feel like going there and showing you, but trust me, it's there. A hundred out of a hundred times, that file is in my email with no problems, and you can trust it. So zamzar.com, and I just, I mean, it's amazing. You can, you can convert a file. I mean, look at this list. 
what do you want to convert a file to? I mean, holy moly. It's going to have some trouble converting things to, um, it's going to have trouble converting things from like, um, to, into vector. It's going to have trouble, you know, picking lines and plotting points. Those things, you know, I don't know that I would trust it for all that. But it's perfect for just converting like an image, converting a uh, Excel file, uh, whatever your whatever kind of files you just need to do a quick convert. The next one is obvious that I'm going to mention a Google product because the Google Drive. People, I'm amazed when people don't know that they have access to a hundred, or in this case, this free account, account we're looking at now is 15 gigabytes um, of free storage. But you can get as much as 100 gigabytes of free storage with the right promo codes and the right uh, promotions. 15 gigabytes of cloud data is usually plenty. When I need to share a file with a friend or a colleague, I'll do it right here. Look, just create a new folder and call the folder, you know, uh, my web bro folder, you know, and, and then when it makes this folder, I, I can, I can, I can literally just pull anything I want into this folder. Let's go ahead and open up my, um, let's go ahead and open up my, um, windows Explorer and let's just drag whatever I want in there like this. Boom. So there you go. What I've done is I've just uploaded that file. It took a second and I uploaded that file to the cloud. Now all I have to do, right mouse click on this, get a shareable link, right? This link right here is the link. That link right there is the link. See that? That's the link that I'll give my client. I'll just email that link to my client. When my client opens up this link, they have access directly right here they have access when they open that link that's all they have to do they're looking at my file you guys that's how you share files now in 2018 okay um all right the last tool i want to show you is a is a little bit um goofier but it really saves me a lot of time in the internet uh, world in web design a lot of times our client will go ahead and give us text that's either all lowercase or all uppercase or just all messed up and so what i'll do is i'll take it in here and i'll fix it so i just want to show you how cool this is let's say i've got this text right so i've got this paragraph of text that my client wrote me and it looks like this right because they're not yelling at me but it just looks that way i can take that text and i can make it all lowercase it's it's a miracle I just saved myself like 15 hours of labor, or I'm sorry, I just saved myself like 15 minutes of labor typing up a paragraph. Make it all uppercase. A lot of times on the web you want it to be all uppercase. You ever heard of capitalized case? So let's say you want, oh, of course, just the first letter. So that that's not a good example because I can't do that with this paragraph. But you can just tell it to make the first letter of every paragraph capital. It's awesome. Alternating case, title case, inverse case. It's really cool. And then you can even copy it to your clipboard or download the text. So a big shout out to these guys here at, con at convertcase.net. I love this website. I, didn't, I couldn't remember what it was called, but I love it. Thank you guys so much for coming back. It was my pleasure to show you these seven tools that I've been using for free for years that I love. And again, these are tools that I'd have to replace if I didn't have access to them. Here's my stopwatch. Oh my God, I spent four minutes and 53 seconds talking about that stuff since I hit click. I better go. Thanks for coming back. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check me out on Facebook and LinkedIn, mywebbro.com, mattatdaswow.com. Thanks, bye.